Do you have this underlying feeling that this current world we live in is getting worse and worse each day? Do you turn on the news and are frightened to see how horrible things are unfolding in front of your eyes? Well, I have some news for you. It's always been like this. Human history has always been violent, filled with bloodshed, murder, rape, and all the things that bring unease to the pure mind. Close your eyes. Think back to the time of your high school history class. What do you see? What do you remember? Do you remember all the positives humans have done? Or do you remember all the wars? Slavery, the Holocaust, the Black Plague, the Taiping War, where 10 million people died in China, Pol Pot's rulership where half of Cambodia's population was wiped out, or the conquest of Genghis Khan, killing over 40 million people. I am 100% sure anyone who lives in the present would be glad to live through the life they are living now 100 times over than dealing with the many horrors of living back then. Like I said, none of this behavior is new. Technology just adds seasoning to the human behavior. If humans had weapons of mass destruction back then, they would have done the same things they are doing now. Well, actually, with the sense of morality they had back then, the world would have ended a long time ago. Yes, things are a little bit crazy right now, especially with a large population you expect to see a higher number of crimes. But these crimes don't go unpunished. Here's a clue as to why you see so many negatives. Corporate media has a vested interest in fomenting anger and despair because those emotions get the most eyes on screen and generate the most engagement from consumers. A great example of this will be in the movie Nightcrawler. The plot of this movie in a nutshell, and spoilers if you haven't watched it, is that the people want the craziest, bloodiest story. And Bloom, the Nightcrawler, would record the most violent crimes in the city of Los Angeles and sell it to the top paying news stations, making the views of those news stations almost triple because that's honestly what people would like to see. You never really hear about the positives. Yes, there are plenty of news stories advocating for the great advancement of the human race. But when you turn on the TV, the news usually isn't for unity. They're always playing stories to keep the common people divided. The people on the right want your rights. The people on the left want to change your values. This certain ethnic group are violent thugs. Immigrants are taking your jobs. Murder here, murder there, murder everywhere. Wouldn't good behavior be encouraged if the news would stop making criminals heroes by broadcasting their names on the news each day so they can go home to their friends after being released from jail on bond and brag about how savage they are? Or we should stop giving these mass shooters the credit they want. They want to be famous. They want their name to be reported so people can read their manifestos, get in touch with their ideas, and somehow relate to the feelings that they have. Watch what they did and somehow be inspired by their actions. Yes, broadcasting and showing the horrors of this world should be a wake-up call for many people. Instead of leaving people in fear, they should broadcast how to defend yourself against mass shooting, like more civilians having guns, allowing them to perform justice the good old way. But getting back to the topic, this isn't new. Humans killing each other isn't new. War isn't new. The reason you think it's getting worse is because that's all you pay attention to. So many people have anxieties that didn't exist until they started watching the news. They're scared to leave their homes because of crimes they think will happen to them. Those shootings you see on the news aren't random acts of violence, they are planned and orchestrated by gangs. They usually have a certain target in mind, and it's usually not you. Here's the honest truth. Whatever is happening is going to happen no matter what. When you fill your mind with all the negatives going on in the world, how do you think you're going to perceive the world? As negative. Here's an idea. Turn off the news. Take a break from Twitter or Facebook. Take a break from filling your mind with everything that's going on and focus on yourself and be aware of your surroundings without the outside influence of the media telling you how to perceive the world. Yes, of course, be aware of everything that's happening. Yes, assume that not everyone is a good person. Carry protection if your state allows it. But remember, the bad is only a small percentage compared to the good. Don't let the negatives keep you in the house, in fear. Being bored is the biggest play factor in the popularity of media. Every time you find yourself bored, find some physical activities to do. As much as you spend on your news subscriptions, you can spend that money on a gym membership. Instead of turning on the news before you go to sleep, go to the gym, get some physical activity. That way, you'll actually be tired and ready to go to bed.